Hello, my name is Nelvin Sampson, and um, in today's presentation, we will cover information on what causes Rift Valley Fever. We will also talk about the history of the disease, where it's distributed, species that it affects, including humans, and signs of illness observed. And finally, we will address the prevention and control measure for Rift Valley Fever virus. Um, Rift Valley fever is caused by a virus. Virus are mosquitoes to transmit the disease from animal to animal. Rift Valley fever is a fever causing viral disease that's severely affecting sheep, cattle, and goats, um, especially young animals. Um, there is a very high rate of abortion and death in newborn animals. Rift Valley fever can also affect humans. Typically, typically cases have mild flu-like signs that are self-limiting, but severe disease can occur. Um, uh, talking about backgrounds and history of Rift Valley fever, Rift Valley fever was first recognized as a disease in sheep in Rift Valley, Kenya, Africa, around 1900. The virus was not actually isolated until 1930. Since then, there have been massive outbreaks throughout Kenya. A major outbreak occurred in 1950-1951, which resulted in 500,000 sheep abortion, 100,000 sheep deaths. That's a lot um, of animals getting killed. In 1987, an outbreak of Rift Valley fever occurred in the Senegal River Basin, which which located in West Africa. Uh, this outbreak in animal different from prior outbreak in that it was not associated with typical heavy rainfall. Mosquito breeding occurred in large rivers and dams. Uh, symptoms of Rift Valley fever uh, includes a um, person's temperature can go up to 108 Fahrenheit. A person could have blurred vision, minor headache, and uh, vomiting blood. Also, not only that, bleeding from other part of the body is a uh, plays major factor. According to CDC, 82.7% uh, of the male um, gets Rift Valley fever. Transmission to animals. One of the main thing. Uh, transmits is mosquitoes. Mosquitoes spread the fever. Several of these species of mosquitoes are found in the United States and could potentially con contribute to the spread of Rift Valley fever in this country. Transmission to humans. Rift Valley fever may be transmitted to people from animals through several ways. A person may be bitten by mosquito infected with Rift Valley fever. The Rift Valley fever virus may be transmitted by direct contact of infected animal tissues, meat, or body fluid with the person's skin. Prevention. Since we discuss the prevention and control of Rift Valley fever, altering the mosquito's habitat is a long-term solution to mosquitoes control and the best mean of control. There are several steps that may be taken to identify and to reduce or eliminate mosquito breeding habitats. Drains, drain or fill in low lane, flood prone areas, grade newly developed land to prevent standing water, add drainage holes on structures and containers that may trap water such as barrels and old tires. Pick up properly disposed of all trash, especially anything that could hold water. Clean roof gutters to prevent them from becoming clogged and holding water. Change water in pet water stocks at least once a week. Check and drain pool tarps and cover for collected rainwater. Um, if you take a look at this picture, you can see that there's a lot of tires laying around. And in those tires, when rain Falls, the water will uh, will be stuck in there, and mosquitoes can't go in them. Uh, 
prevention and control focusing on elimination of mosquito egg laying sites is the key factor for rift valley virus uh, personal protect protective equipment such as gloves boots eyewear masks um, you should wear them before you should treat animals sick animals if when you don't wear them you get infected by those wires and that's how we get rift valley wires there are two type of treatments such as rival wire inhalation and virus soul inhalation both of these treatment are treated to infants young children who have a uh, several lung infection caused by certain wires but mainly rival wiring for inhalation is not recommended for adults. It's mainly virus inhalation is recommended for adults. Uh, in conclusion, Rift Valley fever virus is still expanding through humans and domesticated animals throughout Eastern Africa and other parts of the Middle East. Latest information about pathogenesis and transmission about a rift valley fever virus may give researchers a choice for developing more promising and effective vaccines to help prevent the rift valley fever. Uh, even though it could only be found in certain countries, people should must work together to find a way to get rid of this killer virus, which is called rift valley virus. Uh, these are my sources that I found. Um, if any of you guys want to go take a look at it, you guys can. And thank you.